Jordan, and today I'm going to be making slime without a bowl or a spoon, which is gonna be so crazy. So basically this challenge is pretty self-explanatory. I have to make slime with no utensils on the table with my hands. So this is gonna be really tricky. I'm going to be making cloud slime today. Let's get started. to make cloud slime before and I know that it takes a lot of snow powder so I am gonna go into this challenge keeping in mind that I only need like a tiny bit of slime because I'm gonna be using a lot of snow powder and it will expand my slime to finally make cloud slime so hopefully I do this right I don't think I've really ever done this right so we're gonna see how it goes today cuz I have an extra challenge no bowl or spoon all right so we're just gonna go ahead with our glue, I guess. This is crazy. I feel like I need a bowl here. It's gonna like spill off the table. I gotta think this through before I just start pouring things on the table. So I need to go in. What color am I gonna make it? I kind of want to make like purple. Should I make purple cloud slime? I kind of want to do that. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna go with purple cloud slime. <sighs> I think I'm ready, you guys. Let's make sure that this works. Oh, good thing I checked. Safety seal. Woo! That could have been a disaster with my glue going everywhere. All right, now that I have purple fingers, I think we're ready to start pouring in the glue. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. I have my activator on hand right here. And I think I'm ready to go. Kind of nervous. All right, let's just go ahead and start pouring in the glue. Okay, I only need a small amount of slime because like I said earlier, um, the snow expands and makes your slime like 10 times bigger. So I'm only gonna make that much. It's a teeny amount, I know. But we're just gonna start off with that much and move on. All right, I'm gonna mix with my left hand because I'm right-handed. So it'll just be easier to grab everything with my right hand. I don't wanna go in with my hands, but okay. Oh man. Now I think it's time to activate and the key to making cloud slime I've heard is that you're supposed to overactivate a little bit because the fake snow actually melts your slime kind of so it makes it stickier so you kind of want to overactivate a bit is what I've heard. I don't really know. <laughs> if I do this wrong guys comment down below what I'm doing wrong or if I did it right then yay. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more activator because if we're supposed to overactivate this, this doesn't look overactivated yet, you guys. Ah, slime, because like I said earlier, pull it together, you guys. We're almost there, right? Almost. All right, I think it's picked up like everything on the table, pretty much. So we have our little mini slime. It's still kind of sticky, so we're almost there. Almost to the point that we need it at, but I wish I could just leave it, but no, we've got to keep activating. What's the main activator that you guys use for your slimes? Like, do you guys use Staflo or Borax or Contact Solution or just what activator do you guys use? I usually use Borax, but lately I've been using Staflo a little bit. I don't know. I can't decide which I like better, so leave your opinion down below in the comments. All right guys, this is like the perfect slime right here. I really don't want to activate it anymore, but I know I should. For the cloud slime. It's for the cloud slime. All right guys, our slime is almost there. Not quite though. We need so much more activator. Oh, oh no, I can feel it being like rippy. I know you're not supposed to like really overactivate it. I just know that's supposed to be like a bit harder than usual slime because the snow really does melt it like for sure. So I don't know. I don't know the consistency I'm supposed to make it. Hopefully I'm doing this right you guys. I don't know. I've only made cloud slime like once before. All right, I think our slime is almost there. It's pretty tough now. So I think we're ready to go in with some snow. All right, now I think we're ready to make the snow. Oh no, I'm actually kind of worried for this. And also, inside of this little snow powder, there's a little spoon scoop thing. 
that you use to scoop out your snow. But since I can't use any spoons or bowls, I can't use that. I'm just gonna have to dump it straight onto the table. So let's just go ahead and... Ah! That's a lot. I don't know how much to put, I don't know. All right, let's activate the snow. This is so hard, you guys. What? How much do I add? Ah! It's going everywhere, you guys. Like, literally. Okay. Is that, is that the snow? I think we did it. I think we did it, you guys. Yeah, success. Okay. We have the snow here. It's a bit dry. I don't know if I'm supposed to add in more water. We're just gonna leave it. Now I need to take my slime. Hey, this is actually not bad. Oh, there it goes, there it rips. But now I need to take my slime and I need to mix it in with the snow. So let's just, woo. Fully grab all that snow and start mixing, yay! Okay, it's at that stage where it's like got the little bumps but it's still like regular slime. So we need a lot more snow. There's gonna be a lot of mixing involved. And it's starting to become less rippy as you can tell. It's starting to become back to like normal slime. So it's melting. Uh oh, may need to reactivate. That's the only problem is it's hard to like reactivate when you already have snow in it because the snow just wants to soak up the activator and then your slime doesn't actually get activated. It's a struggle. So I never know how like how much to activate it before. It's at a weird stage, this is like a cloud cream slime. I feel like we're at the cloud cream stage, which is great, but it's not what we're going for. We're going for cloud slime, not cloud cream. See, this is the cloud cream, but we wanna keep adding in all that fake snow because we want cloud slime. Okay. So we made cloud cream. Maybe I should activate this a bit more because it's starting to become really sticky. I think I'm gonna activate it. Okay. This is actually a really pretty cloud cream. I wanna keep it, but we gotta make the cloud slime guys go all out. Have you guys ever made cloud slime before? And how did it go if you guys have tried to make cloud slime? Like, did it go just fine or was it a fail like, how mine was the first like five times I made the cloud slime. <laughs> I think we're ready to make some more snow. <laughs> All right, this is, I feel like this is one of the most stressful parts cause it's like you're dumping just water onto the table and I feel like it's gonna run off and go all over my clothes. Whew! All right, let's pour in some water. Okay, let's mix that together and see if that's enough water. I can't really tell. It's actually so much harder to make fake snow just without a bowl. Like, I didn't realize how hard it would be. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Why does this smell like Sharpies? What? Yeah, it smells like Expo markers. Like, what is that? What? All right, let's add in our slime to the snow pile. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, okay, it's so weird. What is fake snow? Honestly, what is fake snow? Let's read. Um, this set contains chemicals that may be harmful if misused. I don't think fake snow is meant to be put in slime. Um, we're just gonna keep going. Um, <laughs> let's see, what is this even made out of though? Like for real, it doesn't even say. Sodium polyacrylate. Polyacrylate. What? That's all it says that it is, so I don't know if that's really like all the ingredients, but I guess so. What? Um, that's so weird. Okay. Guys, it's turning really soft. Like, this slime is becoming super soft and really stretchy. But I'm worried it's gonna start getting really sticky. Like this is, I was gonna say this is perfect, but it just ripped. So I don't know how perfect it is right now, but we'll see. Once again, used up all the snow. I need to make another batch. What, maybe I should just make a ginormous batch, but I think I should first activate a bit more. 
So basically, Cloud Slime, you don't need a lot of glue, but you need a lot of activator and a lot of snow. So, there you go. <laughs> okay guys, it's still at that cloud cream stage. I think we need to definitely add in some more s snow. I don't know how much snow I should make though. Maybe I should just make like a big pile because I keep using all of it. Okay, that's a big pile. This is gonna expand like twice the size. So, let's go ahead and add some water. Here's where the magic happens. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, that water almost like fell onto my lap. Okay, Whew. go back that way. Thank you. I don't know if it needs more water or not. I feel like it kind of does. We're gonna add in a bit more. All right. Okay, here's our fake snow pile for the third time. We're gonna add our slime in again. Hopefully this is the last batch of snow that I need in order to make the cloud slime. I don't know though. It's not looking too promising. I feel like we need a lot more. <laughs> oh. Guys, it's starting to come together. Yes! <laughs> I'm so excited, okay. I say just take the rest of this. <gasps> Something's happening. It's almost a cloud slide. Do you see that? It's almost there. I think we're getting somewhere, you guys. We're making cloud slime today. Yeah, buddy! I think we're almost there. I think I might need to make a little bit more snow. I can't tell. Do I need more snow? I feel like I do. See, it runs like really slow. I think I need some more snow. Oh no. But the thing is, like, there's snow on the table and it doesn't want to pick it up anymore. It's like at its max capacity of holding snow. So I don't know if I need any more snow? I don't know. I can't tell. Mm. <laughs> what is this? Alright guys, I think we've gotten somewhere. Yes! Is this cloud slime, you guys? Did I do it? Do I need a little bit more snow? I feel like I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna, like, try mixing it a lot, like, really good. And maybe it will fall like really good. I don't know. How do you make it fall really like smoothly? I don't get these. Alright, let's see. Oh, I think we did it, you guys. I think we did it. Maybe. I don't know. What is this? Should we try adding in like a bit of lotion? Let's try adding in some lotion. Why don't we? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that makes it feel really weird. Now, ooh, wait, what is happening? No, I think it's kind of turning it back into cloud cream. Is it? I don't know, I can't tell. Maybe it's making it fall smoother. I can't tell. <laughs> what is this? Maybe, okay, I'm gonna add in some more. We're gonna see what happens. We're taking a risk here. What does lotion do to cloud slime? I know with regular slime, it makes it softer and it like kind of helps if you overactivated your slime but I have never tried it in cloud slime, so maybe it affects the cloud slime. I don't really know. I think we did it, you guys. I think we successfully made cloud slime without a bowl or a spoon. So now I think the last step that we need is some glitter because glitter just makes slime so pretty. So let's try and make an Instagram swirl. I don't even know if you can with cloud slime. We're gonna try. Oh, oh, ooh, what is this? Hey, oh, okay. I was like, maybe it's falling for once. I don't think you can make an Instagram swirl. I mean, you kind of can. There we go, there's an Instagram swirl. <laughs> Let's add in some glitter. Ooh, this is a fresh new bottle of glitter too. Do you see that? Safety seal, ooh. All right, so we're gonna add in some glitter. Oh, this is just is gonna make it so pretty, you guys. Oh, it's so pretty. I love this slime, you guys. Oh my gosh, I love this. Ta -da. That's so pretty, you guys. <gasps> I think we successfully made cloud slime. What do you guys think? Did I do it? Comment down below. I don't know. Is this cloud slime? I think it kind of is. I think I did it. Yay! All right, guys, now it's mail time. All right, so this first package 
which is from Brooke in Maryland, and it looks like they sent us a nice letter as well as sent me some slime. And you guys know I love slime, so they sent me a lot of slime in here, you guys. Look at this. Ginormous containers. There's so much slime. Okay, so I got some strawberry lemonade scented slime. What? Okay, I gotta take a little sniff sniff and see. Look at that. <gasps> Guys, that looks so pretty. Oh, it smells just like strawberry lemonade. <gasps> Look at that. That's so pretty. And they even have some charms in there. Like, look, I hope you can see that. They have some little charms in the slime. That's so cute. They also sent some galaxy foam slime. This looks amazing. As well as hot chocolate slime. Don't mind if I do. And some candy corn slime. Ah! I love candy corn, you guys. This looks so cool. And they also sent a little mini hot pink container of slime and some treats. And it looks like this one is named, <gasps> these are the little extras, so it came with a little extra bit of slime as well as some candy. Thank you so much, Brooke, for your package. This next package is from Elena in Utah, hey! And they sent a really nice letter that I will read off camera, as well as some treats, nerds, yes. A little sticker, which is so cute, and some slime, and this looks like some really awesome slime. Let me just pull it out and show you. This is super cool slime. Like, do you see this? It has some glitter in it, as well as it's pink, and it has some foam beads. Oh, look at this slime, you guys. Thank you so much, Elena, for your package. All right, guys, so that is it for today's video. Make sure to comment down below what would you name this slime, and if I made cloud slime correctly, and if I didn't, comment down below some suggestions on how I should make cloud slime any better because I do not know how to really make it fall really nice. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe, turn it from red to gray, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.